Usually you hear about shootings, and unfortunately it's usually right here at this park. We're not recognizing the way someone passed. We're recognizing the way someone lived. It all started at the Wilmington Recreation Center. Jose just started coaching kids at the park, you know, at a very young age. There was just something about him having to mentor and coach kids that he just loved to do. You know, I think part of it was that he grew up in this area. He saw the poverty. He uh, hung around the teen center. Just because they have classic cars and they look a certain way, because, you know, people are going to be judgmental. But that's the reason why my husband had a passion for coaching. He wanted to mentor these kids to become something. And even my kids' friends, always mentoring them. He might hurt himself. What was he trying to reach for? Cookie! Cookie, that's why you should ask. Jose is a kind of personality that everybody gets along with. He grew up in this area, so he got along with the gangsters, but he also was very well in the community, very much into helping others. Ten years ago, you know, his friends started passing, and he wanted to help their families, gather funds to lay them to rest. Him and his friends would get together. They would all pitch in money. They would barbecue teriyaki chicken to sell and fundraise for the families. He felt the need that I need to help these people. They live here in Wilmington. Whether it was murder, uh, COVID, cancer, it was all of that. Hopefully we have a great day tomorrow. Have a good day, fellas. We'll see you all tomorrow. One month we had like three in a row. And I would ask him, babe, like, take a break. Why? No, next, he's all like, no, honey. I bless to be blessed. And you just never know one day I may need it. It went into the summer night lights. What he was doing that night that it happened, cooking for the community, and it was free. We typically do see an uptick in violent crime during the summer months. So one way that we try as a whole city family, not just police department, but uh, parks and recs, and we host these events at our local community parks. We were just there sitting, just watching everyone dancing. The music was so loud, so at first we thought it was fireworks. And then my friends are like, Sandy, those are not fireworks, those are gunshots. So we jumped up and we started running towards the gunshots. And the guys ran and grabbed me. And they're like, you can't go over there, mama. And I kicked and I punched and I kicked and I punched until I got loose. And when I ran, and I just saw him laying there and the police stopped me and they started putting yellow tape and I just seen him laying there. And they're like, ma'am, you can't go, you can't. And I was like, why? That's my husband, what's wrong with him? I, I need to see him. And they're like, you can't. The tragedy and the beauty of Jose Quesada is he was himself the victim of gang violence. But the beauty is, is that what he was doing was working. Uh, this year, we, at this point in the year, have five homicides. At this point, last year, we had 14. That's nine Jose Quesada families that are not suffering what his family is doing right now. I feel empty. Some days I feel lost. It's just a huge part of me that's gone. I lived with this man for 27 and a half years. And from one second, it all changed. Love you, bird. Wilmington lost someone that truly cared about that community. This is gonna be his part. This, this has always been his part. His legacy is gonna always be here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.